dear students in this module you we shall be studying about the basics of the two groups carbon heteroatom disconnection approach or retrosynthetic analysis understand the one two disconnection approach analyze the one one disconnection approach and also understand the one three disconnection approach design and write the synthetic steps based on two group carbon heteroatom disconnection approach for the given molecules the two group disconnection is an approach to an organic synthesis is retrosynthetic analysis if a target molecule possesses two functional groups then two group disconnection approach between the functional group may be applied this method of retrosynthetic analysis produces two possible synthons the two group disconnection may be due to heterolytic cleavage or a homolytic cleavage retro aldol type transformation is an example of heterolytic two group disconnection as shown here whereas the retro acyloin transformation is an example of a homolytic two group disconnection approach the two group disconnections are also written in the short form as di x as we can see here a heterolytic cleavage with the disconnection approach gives the formation of the two synthons an electrophile and a nucleophile while in the homolytic disconnection approach the two synthons appear as the two radicals the disconnection approach this has been observed that the two group disconnections are better than one group disconnections in the two group carbon heteroatom disconnections the numbering starts from the carbon atom bearing the functional groups as shown here in the figure by one two disconnection approach we mean that the two functional groups being disconnected are at relative 1 and 2 positions the short form of the two group one two disconnection approach is 1 to di x hydroxy ethers and amino alcohols are the best examples for one two disconnection approach figure shows a typical one two disconnection approach for a hydroxyl ether the retro synthesis of amino alcohols from amine and epoxide is another example of one two disconnection approach as shown here from the figure one can see that the epoxides along with the amines can be used for the synthesis of amino alcohols let us consider another example which utilizes one two disconnection approach a number of biological active molecules possessing one two functional groups a number of drugs are amino alcohol derivatives the molecules like ferriamidol or phenylamidol is a muscle relaxant and sold with the trade name of cabral the iupac name of the molecule is 1 phenyl 2 pyridine 2 il amino ethanol the disconnection approach or retrosynthetic analysis of this molecule follows the path of two group disconnection and can be made from two amino pyridine and styrene oxide as shown here in the figure the disconnection of phenyl amido 1 gave two molecules two amino pyridine given by the structure 3 and the second synthon is given by the structure 2 the synthon 2 is obtained from the reagent called styrene oxide the synthesis of 1 has been achieved by the reaction of the structures 3 and 4 as the synthons in the presence of a strong base like sodamide in liquid ammonia the complete sequence of the reaction is shown here in the figure one one disconnection approach here one one means the same carbon atom holds two functional groups 
the short form of the two group one one disconnection approach is also given as one one di x. The best example is the disconnection approach of acetals which falls in this category of disconnection approach. For acetal one can use one oxygen atom to help the disconnect the other as shown here in the figure as can be seen here in the figure how the acetal can be traced back to the methyl derivative of a carbonyl compound and then further back to the ketone. The important application of the acetals in the synthesis is as protecting group for the aldehydes and the ketones. Another group of the compounds include cyclic acetals. They are generally used for ketones. The disconnection is similar to that of the acetals. The disconnection approach and the synthetic pathway of for the compound 5 is given and the figure respectively. We can see here then how the cyclic diacetyl can be retrosynthetically traced back to a diol and a keto compound 6 and 7. Also the two can be used to combine together in the presence of an acid to prepare a cyclic acetyl. One three disconnection approach. The one three disconnection approach is applicable to one three difunctionalized compounds. A number of biologically active molecules possess one three functional groups and this disconnection approach finds its application in drug design and its synthesis. From the figure one can see the one three disconnection approach for the synthesis of 1, 3 functionalized compounds. A nucleophile at the 1 position can be broken up to form a electrophile which can be generated from an ene structure. Compound 8 is an example of 1, 3 functionalized molecule. The retrosynthetic analysis of 8 shows that it can be synthesized from a reagent which is an unsaturated carbonyl compound. The synthon for this disconnection approach is 9. This is a Michael reaction type and is applicable for all the carbonyl compounds and most of the nucleophiles. This type of retro analysis is equally applicable for cyanides and the nitro compounds. Let us consider another example 1, 3 amino ethers. These can be easily synthesized by taking the help of 1, 3 disconnection approaches. The 11 can be prepared by the functional group interconversion to the sino group, an amine group being converted into a sino group, which can be traced back to the two synthons, which is a phenoxide ion and an acetonitrile. Using the above disconnection approach, one can design the forward reaction as given. An alcohol being treated with an unsaturated sino compound in the presence of sodium methoxide forming uh, the structure 12 which on further reduction gives the amine compound. To summarize, if a target molecule possesses two functional groups, then two group disconnection approach between the functional group may be applied. The two group disconnection may be due to heterolytic cleavage or homolytic cleavage. The two group disconnections are better than one group disconnections. Hydroxy ethers and the amino alcohols are the best examples for the 1, 2 disconnection approach. The molecule like phenyramidol follows the path of two group disconnection and can be made from two amino pyridine and styrene oxide. The 1, 3 disconnection approach is applicable to 1, 3 difunctionalized compounds. 1, 3 amino ethers can easily be synthesized by taking the help of 1, 3 disconnection approaches.